once again um, welcome to a new video of sociology education well uh, today I'm going to explain about um, the sociology involved with the fear of death well um, not every people fear to death there are people that believe uh, the death is just part of the life uh, there are people that believe it's um, the beginning of uh, something else, else, the beginning of another uh, another life. It's uh, um, when we change our energy, uh, principal energy to other concepts. These concepts of life or with these concepts of death that we have are constantly changing um, the situations between the um, the thinkers of the uh, of the of the death. So uh, thanatology it's a science that uh, prepares you to um, give the death uh, into a good meaning uh, to give the death uh, this uh, symbolic um, uh, value to understand that death is just part of the life but at the same time we are uh, having fear to death because uh, if we love life, if we love what we do, if we uh, love our work, if we love studying, if we love skating, if we love uh, any sport, if we love uh, to be with our family, to be our sons, then um, we start to look uh, to how uh, we can extend the life and to not being death. So uh, nobody wants to get death uh, just uh, like that. Like uh, I'm saying, uh, no one's want to to die uh, if he don't have uh, mental problems in their head or uh, he is not uh, thinking on suicide. Then. Uh, you, you should uh, begin to fear to death because um, fearing to death is to uh, give a value, to give uh, uh, this importance to life because uh, life is so pretty uh, that you can work on your dreams, you can work on your objectives into different areas, into different uh, groups of society. So making your dreams uh, truth, making uh, your life sense, it's fearing the death. Because uh, once uh, when you are dead, uh, you can't do anything about uh, uh, the meaning of life. So the meaning of life, it's very important uh, to understand that it's giving objectives to our life, to... Uh, to make our dreams c come true and uh, to give um, this valuable um, and sociological definitions to uh, what is the meaning of death and, and how we have to start to fearing the death. So fearing the death, as I told, is um, the, the beginning of understanding the real meaning and the real value of the life to to love ourselves to give a sense to give an orientation to our life so um, another thing that it's important in the life it's uh, to um, to laugh to laugh a lot about the things that we do wrong uh, to uh, to laugh about uh, these uh, things that maybe we can't change because our situation or our economic situation or our family situation our process of socialization with other groups are not very well well when you start to laugh then you uh, uh, give to others the opportunity to transmit that you are fearing to something that uh, you don't know something so when you start to laugh, uh, maybe you are not understanding the meaning of what the people want you to uh, introduce 
will want you to explain. So um, the death uh, doesn't have any any meaning if there is no life. So if there is no life, there there is no death. If there is no death, there is nothing. But if there is death, then can be uh, alive. So this involves a little bit uh, the religion uh, here because um, they uh, they are believing that, um, as I told, uh, they are believings that maybe uh, uh, are understanding these different points of view. If I believe that there is another life uh, after this uh, after this life then first I have to die uh, but uh, fearing the death fearing the death uh, I'm, I'm going to say that three four five six times uh, that fearing the death is the principal uh, sociological analysis of the meaning of the life so um, Concluding this idea of uh, why the society is fearing the death, uh, like an example, uh, the terrorism that uh, some religions have uh, been involved on their beliefs or have uh, been taken or how we look uh, that terrorism is around the world, uh, it's fearing to death, it's fearing to, to a god, it's fearing to... Uh, someone that it's uh, superior to us. So, uh, freeing death, it's it's not bad. It's it's the correct way to understand the life and the correct way to understand that uh, when we have terrorism in our societies, terrorisms usually kill people. So people uh, start to fear the death. When it's uh, when the terrorism exists in the death, so that's why uh, it's important you to notice these social movements of terrorism, of uh, um, non-security. When we uh, when it's missing the security in our countries, when it's missing uh, the police, uh, when it's missing maybe the the statics of the deaths of the deaths uh, will increase. So uh, another thing that happened in society is that uh, when we have uh, terrorism attacks in different uh, areas or in different countries or if this is the beginning of the third world war then uh, the people start to to fear the death to make solutions of uh, what is happening in the world to analyze what we are doing wrong so uh, that's why it's important uh, I'm not um, telling you that terrorism is good that uh, violence is good I'm telling that these factors that exist in society uh, are created by groups of society that uh, wants to uh, have fear to the to the death to have fear to these groups, to these moments. So this uh, this uh, rupture of the information that we have on the meaning of death and the meaning of life and its differences, it takes us to uh, different places on the on the society, and then the society will start to give solutions to this uh, new world order that uh, it's claiming for peace. Everybody wants peace in our countries. Nobody wants to be dead. Nobody wants to be uh, punished. Nobody wants uh, violence. Nobody wants uh, racist people. Everybody wants to to have a place in the society, to give their functions on the society correctly, into a correctly way. That's uh, when we start to to do good sociology good analysis of sociology, not just the analysis of death, the analysis of life, the analysis of our cities, urban sociology, um, contemporary sociology, interpretative sociology, uh, theoretical, classical sociology, uh, methodolo methodological sociology, um, religion sociology, um, 
economic sociology uh, law between uh, the meanings between law and sociology then uh, when we are understanding these concepts different concepts um, are uh, we are going to start to understand um, this uh, situation and how the people see the debt so For the second time concluding uh, this idea, I want you to comment below uh, how, uh, what is your meaning of death? If you believe uh, there is a life, if you fear to death, if you don't fear to death, um, uh, what do you feel when somebody that you love dies? Uh, all these perspectives uh, will help me to understand um, how uh, the people it's uh, caring about uh, uh, give more positive things to their lives so uh, thank you very much for watching uh, subscribe uh, to my channel here you have the button uh, comment below uh, like the video if you like it if you don't like it give the hand uh, down if, and, but give me a reason why you don't like this video so they and then I can improve uh, the meanings that I'm giving to you about uh, sociology and the death. So uh, remember that uh, in many videos that I will be doing, religion uh, will be very present in the definitions. So uh, it doesn't mean that if you are not religion, if you are, if you don't believe in God, if you don't believe in Lucifer, if you don't believe in the evil or the good or anything it doesn't matter uh, your comments uh, will be very help uh, helpful for me for understanding how you see your life from your country and um, this video will help you to understand how a Mexican uh, see the societies see the things that are happening in the world in the news and uh, on the books and everything so uh, I, I will never mention authors, I will never mention uh, theories that are not mine. I'm just given the perspectives of what I see, of what I'm studying. I'm given my cosmovision of, of the situations that are around us. So once again, subscribe, like and share. Goodbye.